All right, so it's starting to take shape. Uh, my tape isn't super sticky on here, but it sticks well enough, which is which is pretty good. Uh, I noticed that my my lower jaw is kind of jutting out a little bit past my upper jaw, so I'm going to fix that. I'm actually going to cut this and bring this together a little bit and see if that can fix this a little bit more. And um, and I'm probably going to bring another piece over here because I want to sort of fill this in like the neck area. And after that, I'm going to start working on kind of bringing a nose in and thinking about sort of what to do for like cheekbones and that kind of thing. Because we have to build up with the cardboard uh, because just building with the paper mache isn't really going to totally work. That's to kind of hold everything together in sort of the surface area. So we want to start to do the cardboard first. All right, so that it's getting a little bit more of a face shape. Of course, I realize on mine that I probably could have done it sort of this way and brought this up a little bit more because sort of the end of my balloon kind of is here, but it's still, I still think I like the like the form pretty well. That looks pretty good in terms of like the back of the head coming out here, kind of jaws here, and now I'm going to start like building up the nose. And you know, even when we get to like the forehead, we can build this area up here, especially if we're going to do some hair. So let's go ahead and work on the bridge of the nose area. Now the bridge of the nose for the nose, you can just kind of do basic forms. I'm just sort of showing you kind of basic stuff because with the paper mache, you can always make it wider. You can make it the nostrils bigger, bigger, you can make them skinnier. So just kind of get some basic stuff, but you do need to kind of pay attention to your person and how, um, how long their nose is and maybe like how far, far out it comes that, that will definitely, uh, You'll need to figure that out before you start attaching mine. So I'm going to have kind of like an average nose kind of coming in here. And so my nose is actually going to come start about here. It's going to be about that big. And my eyes are going to be right in here. All right, so it's starting to look a little bit better from the side profile there. So I got my jaw and my nose piece. Definitely gonna wanna build up some sort of like other facial features in here. Um, and the thing that's interesting with the paper mache and the balloon form is sort of once you get your two layers on here and it's, it's fairly strong, um, you know, we can go ahead and we can slice poke a hole in there and we can pull the balloon out and once the balloon is gone you can actually sort of shape this a little bit more and you can start pushing in your sides and the eye sockets a little bit more so that you can kind of push in the surface as well as sort of building it up because right now they kind of have these rounded areas but the eye sockets you're actually going to want those to kind of go in so we can kind of do both things so we can kind of be pushing in a little bit uh, and of course building up with our additive process. And I think 
I'm going to do one more area. I'm going to go ahead and tape some more area now. At this point, you could go ahead and start paper mache, uh, but I'm going to probably put do a little bit of kind of like a forehead area up here. Um, I'm going to probably have my eyes like kind of right about here. So working on the forehead. All right, so I think I'm gonna start going to start paper machining. I'm kind of liking the basic thing again. I got some kind of forehead area in here. I could crease this a little bit more. That will stick up a little bit more. And I'm not too worried about this in here because I can go ahead and I can just fill that in with paper mache. Same thing about here, you know, when, when I get to my nostrils, I can just kind of wad pieces up and I can start there. But I think I might put a little bit more tape right there because that might want to keep that a little more flush. All right, paper mache is coming up next.